Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Hobby Workbench. Today, as promised, well, I guess I'm a day late and a dollar short, but better late than never. Today, I bring to you the sequel to Dead Man's Hands Great Escape Games Gunfighter's Plastic Gunfighter Kit. The sequel. Yes. What does that mean? Gunfighters 2, ladies and gentlemen, and those of non-specification. This is the plastic multi-part female gunfighters kit, fresh off the presses from the Great Escape Games. Came out at the end of April, unfortunately. Had to wait a little while before my pre-order came in, because they're over there in jolly old England. So... Without much further ado, uh, let's open up one of these. I've got uh, two of these boxes, but let's go ahead and open up one of these and build a few so that we can get a look at these lovely new models. Uh -huh. So here's what you get in the box. You get your 10 bases. These really thin gaming bases are, they're really nice. Um, I use them for civilian and townsfolk. I prefer to use uh, my big, chunky, thick 28 millimeter bases for the actual uh, gaming pieces. But let's see here. So two of this sprue, much like the plastic gunfighter kit, and your dead man's hand advertisement bookmark. Lovely, lovely. So both of these, much like the male gunfighter's kits, both of these sprues are identical you just get two of them to make a gang of 10 ladies so we got some fun faces we get two uh two masked faces we get some pigtails oh, we get three masked I think it really makes some outlaws you get a really angry old lady yeah, you get some fun fun bits and then uh, you can see that there's a socket on the back of some of these models it's because there are ponytails that you can, and braided pigtails, and unbraided, just, you know, uh, hair banded back, uh, little details that you can add. You get, interestingly enough, you don't get two shotguns with this kit. You get two different types of lever actions. You get a Winchester and a Henry. You do get a shotgun. You get a lantern. You get a chicken, another cactus. The previous kit, you got uh, a uh, bull's skull and a, and a different type of cactus. So those are some nice little basing details. I really like that Henry. That is a cool looking Henry repeater. Yeah, you get two of these Henry repeaters. You get a, win a regular Winchester that's just being held normally like a Winchester. Yeah, you get your... Sharps Carbine. Very nice. And it looks like you get some different types of revolvers. That looks like a late model Smith & Wesson double action from the late 1890s. So you get some more modern looking revolvers. You still get your Cattlemen's. But you don't get any Schofields. So that's the difference. You get these late 1890s double action revolvers with them as opposed to Schofields. That is interesting. All right. Then you get one pair of pants, four different types of skirts, five different, you get like just regular shirt, you get vest, another vest, looks like that's like a day coat, and a jacket. Very nice. All right. Well, these are some fantastic little bitty bits. Let's get one built, and let's do some size comparisons. Back in a GIF. All right, and we're back with our completed Lady Gunslingers. Here's our first up. Isn't she cool looking? I love the, der the derby hat, the pigtails, and the bandana. Not a whole lot, like, pulled up way above the nose, so you can just see her eyes. The dual double-action Smith & Wessons. Look great. And it's just got her kind of, like, uh, hosed out, holding out a couple of, holding down a couple of guys. 
And I uh, got that cactus there. So it's a good looking, good looking model there. Next up, we got this, uh, this nice looking young lady. Probably a farm hand or a farmer's wife. She's got herself a shotgun and a hen. Got herself a single action army on her hip with a ponytail tied back. It's real nice, simple style of dress. She just looks like she's protecting her property, which is cool look for a mom. Next up, we got this lady with the Henry. Lever action. Also packing a single action army on her hip. Got a braided ponytail. And she's just drawing a bead down on some, some bad hombres there. So there we are. I like this next one. We got the lady with the sharps carbine. Kind of looks like a school marm with that kind of updo, I don't know what you would call that, beehive. She's also got the big iron on her hip. And, uh, yeah, she's just like on the march, ready to kick some ass. It's a nice different take with the sharps and the male sprue. You're aiming down sights. And this one you've got like, kind of like at the ready or walking kind of position. I, I dig it. And then last but not least, we got the lady with the single action army and a lantern. And she's actually aiming down the barrel, which is so cool that she's actually drawing, like drawing forward and aiming down sights. That is a rare pose to see on models. And I do, I do know why it can look a little awkward, but I, I feel like they did a good job pulling that off. And uh, I love that arm. That that arm is going to get a lot of use out of me with some different poses. So, there's the first five built. Uh, yeah. Gunfighters 2. Great Escape Games. Just released. Highly recommend it. It's a great kit. You get plenty of options with these models. You get two sprues. You can make ten, so you can make a gang of ladies out of this if you like. Or if you've want to you can pick up a box of this and a box of uh, gunfighters uh, the male gunfighter set and create like a nice uh, mishmash mix them up if you like or you know however you want to do it you can also there are enough arms and pieces in here that uh, like with the male gunfighter set that if you wanted to you could just make uh, unarmed or at the ready civilians um, you also get the uh, standalone Winchester that isn't on uh, in a hand or anything like that, so you could uh, strap it to somebody's back or throw it up on a wall in a building. So you get some nice pieces with this kit. I really dig it. I was hoping for some more dynamite, but eh, what can you do? Uh, I, I'm I'm all about extra little details and things. Some of the heads don't play well with certain poses. You can see here I've tacked on these heads that I tried with some of the poses, arm poses, and they just didn't work out. So uh, be sure to dry fit these heads with the arms you use before you ultimately commit to a pose. And uh, yeah, Gunfighters 2, fantastic. Couldn't be happier with the purchase. Uh, shout out to Great Escape Games. Uh, they killed it with another fantastic set of models here. So till the next one, ladies and gentlemen, and those of non-specification, Ye nice haw. A most heartfelt thank you to my patrons and subscribers. I wouldn't be able to do this without y'all. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I have a Patreon. It's in the description of the video. You can also find my Twitter and my Discord server there if you would like to join the community and help this channel grow. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks again, everyone.